Hey guys, welcome back. It's Tuesday, the 2nd, September 2nd. I uploaded two videos yesterday, one doing an update as I was working on this, and then a second one covering just the um, the uh, 951 swap um, and what was required for that. Um, today I'm working on a little bit, uh, a few more things. I did get my drive shaft in, my carbon seal in, as well as my pump mounted on. I still got to hook up my VTS and steering. Um, so I got that done. And I was using this PTO cover from a 98 XPL. I had to grind down the bottom to make room because it was hitting down here in the hole. You can see the marks right there where it was rubbing. And what was happening was, it, because it was hitting and had no room to move, my wing nuts for the cover kept vibrating loose. So I thought by grinding those, by grinding it down, giving it more room, that would prevent my wing nuts from coming loose. Uh, and I had them suckers tight as tight as can be, and they would still work themselves loose. But I ground it down, put it back on, ran it for a second, and uh, she still vibrated loose no matter how tight I got it. Maybe I should use lock nuts. <laughs> I'm not sure. Um, but anyway, for now I'm not going to run it. I got my bilge pump mounted. And I'm just going to make sure all my wires and lines and stuff stay away from the drive shaft. Um, this way it's a plus because I can get to the grease zerk on the PTO easier. Um, still got to do some zip tying of my wires. Um, I'm fighting an issue right now with my idle. I can't run it for too long out of the water. So I'm only running it for 10-15 seconds. Um, and I can't get the idle to, to be set right at about 3,000. I think it's because it needs to warm up. So I need to take it to the lake and, and uh, adjust it in the lake. Because right now I can get it set and it'll... I can set it for 3,000 RPMs and then after about 5-6 seconds it'll drop. Uh, and then I'll adjust it and then it'll shoot up. So it's it's bouncing all over. Um, like I said, I think I need to take it to the lake, put it in the water, and get it set there permanently. So... Um, That'll be on the list, hopefully, for tomorrow. Today, my project is um, taking off the VTS gauge, and I'm going to be installing um, GPS speedometer gauge in there. So I'll be taking the hood off, redoing the wiring, and getting that gauge in there. Um, I'm also still waiting for my trim setup from Westside Power Sports to go with his uh, steering setup. Um, if you're interested in this, it's similar to the UMI system um, for the, the steering setup. Um, I threw on some fly racing handlebars. They're 40 bucks, so cheap handlebars. Um, but he, you, Nick at Westside Power Sports sells the steering setups. They're really nice steering setups. Sorry for the bad lighting. Um, so I'm waiting for his, for his um, trim setup, his hydraulic manual trim. Um, and I will install that and give you a preview of that as well. Um, so stay tuned for that. I know the video quality and whatnot isn't the best right now. I'm just shooting these with my camera, with my phone, um, and uploading them straight to YouTube. So the quality here isn't the best and whatnot. You know, I'm not editing, I'm not editing the video really. Um, not really pre-scripted. My other video, I did have a little script with all my notes for the swap. So that helped. Um, but most time it's just me. So I'm speaking off the cuff of my collar. Um, if I get more subscribers that want to follow me as I'm working on the XPs and occasionally my four wheelers and my, my motorcycle, that'll be great. Um, and I'm not probably really expecting to get enough subscribers to make money off of this like some other people do with their YouTube channels. Um, but if I get enough subscribers and get enough time, I'll probably spend more time 
editing videos and doing a little more. But for now, I think my longest video has been, what, 20 minutes or so. And it's just me behind this, behind my phone just talking to you guys about jet skis. Um, I do want to eventually have a little more with GoPros riding them. Um, and maybe I've got, my dad's got a, a drone. I'd like to get some drone footage. Um, so all that will probably be in the works for next year. Um, but yeah, if you're... If you're if you're subscribed to my channel, thanks for subscribing. Share it a little bit to other, especially other jet skiers that are into C Do's and the X4s, XPs. Um, so yeah, I appreciate it, guys. And I'm located in I'm currently in Fergus Falls, Minnesota. I did live over in uh, near Glenwood in Alexandria, Minnesota. Tons of lakes. That's what got me into the skis because there's more place to more skis to ride, or more lakes to ride skis than there are trails to ride four wheelers um so i mean we got ten thousand lakes plus in uh, minnesota so tons of skis uh lakes for to ride the ski zone so that's what drove my passion to moving to the skis i uh, still like my four-wheeler though i got some buddies down that i go that i want to go four-wheeling with again but the raptor my yamaha raptor 660 is in pieces um needs a lot of work so that's going to be one of my projects for this fall once i get this done i got to get this one done and the 98 out there, I got a few things on it to finish. Um, but then I'm going to hit that Raptor pretty hard. So stay tuned for those videos later as well. I will be leaving for vacation um, on September 20th for a week and a half or so to Texas to visit family down there. Um, somewhere either before or after, I will be doing a video for uh, winterizing these XPs. Um, I'm probably going to winterize one of mine, of my two 96s before I go. Because uh, I've got, and, and the 96 GTI, um, before I, either before I go or right after when I come back. So, uh, winter is coming fast. So, um, stay tuned for those videos and more updates. Um, thanks again for watching. And um, subscribe, hit the like button. Uh, all that good stuff. I appreciate it. Have a good one, guys.